Hey everyone, this is Leo Bond reporting once again for the Best Buy Canada plug-in blog, and I'm back this time with a look at the Meccano Mechanoid XL 2.0 Personal Robot, which is a newly updated version of last year's G15 KS model. That was the kid-sized version, and as you may or may not recall, I actually reviewed that version, the original guy, last year. It's a four-foot-tall robot, and let me just say right off the bat that there is a significant amount of overlap this time around. I'm thinking probably something like 95% the same. Now trying to think back to last year and recall the differences is a little bit difficult. I may miss something here, but I will say that the build on this year's version seemed pretty much exactly the same to me. There are 1,014 different parts and it does take a few hours to assemble. I'm going to give a range. I'm going to say anywhere between 5 and 10 hours because so much depends on whether you're doing this alone or as part of a group or a family project and a lot also depends depends on how focused you are on the task at hand. So in other words, if you like to watch movies while you're building it like I do, that's going to slow you down a bit. So how we're going to do this is that I'll spend the first part of the video just telling you different things about the mechanoid, different information like his features and ways that you can play and interact with him, as well as what the build process was like for me this time around. And then in the second half or so of the video, I'll actually be interacting with the mechanoid through what I consider his primary play pattern, and that is the voice commands. So I'll bark out the commands and we'll just see a bit of a demo of what exactly exactly this guy can do. Of course, it won't include everything because Mechanoid has something like 3,000 different pre-programmed phrases as well as a number of other cool things that he can do. So when I say that there's about 95% overlap with last year's version, I mean that strictly in the physical body of the robot with the main difference that I found being the color and different variations there. But as far as his programming goes, uh, this thing has become far more advanced over the previous year's version. If you remember, last year's Mechanoid was all bread about being able to say over a thousand different pre-programmed things. Uh, this guy's a whole lot smarter than that. So building this guy is really not easy. He comes with the only two tools that you're going to need to complete the job, which is an Allen wrench that looks like a screwdriver and a small wrench for reaching into tight areas where you can't otherwise really get into. And of course there's an extensive instruction manual that has 149 different fairly complex steps to building this thing and many of these steps have multiple sub steps to them so it can get really convoluted at times and you know I can't really claim to be a huge fan of these instructions yet at the same time I really can't fault them all that much because they don't actually leave anything out it's just that some of the steps are so complex that it's very easy to make mistakes sometimes. And if you keep going along after making even the tiniest of mistakes, you're often in for some major backtracking later on. And boy, can that ever be frustrating. So the build process can be tedious, particularly if you're not the most patient person. But if you're mechanically inclined, I think you'd probably really enjoy it a whole lot. It is a lot of work, but it's also highly educational. You can really learn a lot. And there's no doubt whatsoever that Mechanoid definitely qualifies as a STEM toy, meaning that he promotes learning and education in the subject areas of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So if you're a kid that's really interested in these fields, you may well think that Mechanoid is just about the best toy ever made. Now, once your mechanoid is fully assembled, there are various cool ways that you can play with or interact with him. For instance, you can issue any one of a number of different voice commands, and your mechanoid will react and respond to those commands. Or you could use the freely downloadable mechanoid app, which itself has mul multiple play options, such as the ragdoll avatar feature, which allows you to manipulate your real-life mechanoid by creating a command code string, and you just simply do that by moving the little animated limbs of the mechanoid avatar on your smart device's screen and then of course you can play back that command at any time and the real life mechanoid will actually do those movements. Of course there's also the option of making a LIM recording and LIM just stands for learned intelligent movements. So basically you physically move your mechanoid's limbs about in any manner that you choose while recording that sequence of movements for later playback. 
Once you've placed a recording in Mechanoid's limb library, you can then have him play it back at any time and he will do all of the movements or even making sounds that you've programmed in. So Mechanoid actually has servo memory, which I guess would be similar to muscle memory in us mere mortals. Finally, Mechanoid communicates with your smartphone via Bluetooth, so there's a way to place your phone in his chest and have him essentially use the phone's camera as an eye. You can then stand in front of Mechanoid and move your arms about, and he will actually see you and mimic your various movements. How cool, or annoying, is that? Okay, so that's not really the end. There are many more things that the Mechanoid can do, uh, far more than I can really mention in this video, but I do want to leave some time for the demo, and I'll just wrap things up by saying that for the right kind of person, I certainly do recommend the Mechanoid XL 2.0. He's really got a lot of fun and interesting features, and I think that most kids will just really love him. He's actually meant for kids ages 10 and up, but I think that's more for the building part of this guy, and much younger kids would certainly be fully entertained by his antics. Now, once the mechanoid is fully assembled, you are certainly able to leave him that way indefinitely. However, you will have to somewhat frequently tighten his nuts and bolts because all of the jostling around that he does does tend to work them loose fairly quickly. And sometimes he'll be just dancing up a storm and two or three will fall off, you know, just like that. And then you have to kind of figure out, you know, where do they go and put them back, tighten them all up. So if you're not the kind of person with the patience to sort of assemble and maintain this guy, in that case, I would say you probably want to avoid picking this one up. Now, one final note before we head into our brief demo of some of Mechanoid's coolest voice command features, and that is, if you weren't too happy about last year's Mechanoid being made all out of plastic rather than metal parts, other than things like nuts and bolts, you aren't going to be any happier this time around because, once again, Mechanoid is an all-plastic robot. Finally, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please give it a like or a share, and be sure to keep an eye out for my upcoming review of Luke Skywalker's green Force FX lightsaber from Return of the Jedi, which is coming up very, very soon. But until then, this is Leo Bond signing off and saying thanks everyone for watching, and have an excellent day. Mechanoid. What is up? Exercise. Exercise. Mechanoid, you have my attention. Do a dance. Do a dance. Check this out. Word to your motherboard. Mechanoid, that is my name. Tell me a joke. Tell me a joke. Accessing random jokes. Joke retrieved. Why was the robot mad at coloring books? He was offline. Mechanoid. I am all ears. Teach me something. Teach me something. Interesting facts. Infants blink only once or twice a minute, while adults average around ten. Want to hear another? Yes. At room temperature, mercury is the only metal that is in liquid form. Hungry for some more knowledge? Yes. Rock found at the bottom of the Grand Canyon is around two billion years old. Does your brain have room for more? Yes. No. Can I teach you something else? No. Exiting to main menu. I didn't need to know that last thing.